Hi everyone, how's it going today? Today I'm going to start a new series where I fill out this book and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this book. It's called Time Capsule and it was created by Lauren Van Barneveld. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But uh, I found her channel a few years ago and I loved her art books and the way that she filled them out and just her creative mind, like just the way that she thought about things. And I found out that she made her own art book. And so this book was created by her and I bought it through Amazon so you can go buy your own copy. I think it's still there. I'll be sure to link it in the description if it's still there. And I'm going to slowly but surely make it through this book and maybe do one to three pages every episode. So I hope you're excited to join me on this journey and um, let's get into it. On the back of the book it says, This book is an empty time capsule waiting to be filled by you. It contains creative drawing and writing prompts like design your dream house and write a letter to your future self. Create a perfect picture of who you are right at this moment by filling up your time capsule. So I don't know if you guys have ever done one of these art books before, but they're very, very cool. I myself have done the Wreck This Journal and Create This Book. I highly recommend trying at least the Wreck This Journal out if you don't know what they're about and if you want to give them a shot. They're all kind of the same idea. You get this book that's giving you prompts and you go through it and do the prompts or you can just kind of do whatever style you want to go for. A lot of YouTubers like to do the creative colorful route and um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more creative than I would normally do if I was just doing this without recording it just because I want it to be interesting to look at but also I don't want it to be too thought out or too planned. I want it to be kind of spontaneous maybe slightly planned out but not too much. I took a piece of paper and double folded it and put it underneath this one because some of these notebooks tend to bleed through when you color with anything other than crayon. So I'm mean, just using some Crayola markers and doing like a zebra print that I've drawn on here. Very simple. Um, when it comes to these title pages and not prompt covered pages, I like to do either a pattern or just some simple color anything just to get some color on that page and to make it not so boring. I think as an artist you have to be able to let loose sometimes and not think too hard about what you're doing. Um, of course there are things you should plan out and thoroughly think about before you put them on paper or canvas. With books like this I think they challenge us to not so much focus in on what we're doing and and let you free think and brainstorm and maybe work out some ideas that later could be applied to an actual canvas, whether that be digital or physical work. What kind of things do you guys like to do in these books? Have you ever done one before or is this something that you've never even known about? I have quite a large stack of these types of books in my bookshelf. Um, I'm actually looking at it right now. I have one page at a time. I have Wreck This Journal, which is closer to being finished than any of the others. I have Create This Book. I have Mess. I have a 365 days art book that you can like do an activity that's themed every single day of the year, which I hope to do one day. I have Hashtag Post This Book. And I have a couple of others, but I can't read the title from here. So, And then of course I have The Time Capsule. And these are books that I've collected over the years and plan on doing one day and uh, I just felt like this one's it's about time for I start this one I'm really excited to get into it and try to do something a little more creative than I have in the past now would be a good time I want to tell you guys about some things that I'm doing on Instagram I have a art page that is my business page Luff and stuff it's l-u-f-f -F underscore n underscore stuff. If you want to see my artwork or my stuff that I sell on my shop, feel free to follow me there. I'll be sure to post that link in the description as always. Also, I'm starting to stream on Twitch every once in a while. I'll be sure to put it on Twitter whenever I'm about to go live so you can follow me there until I have a strict schedule that I can follow. I'll be posting there when I will be doing that. The day that I'm filming this is Sunday. Uh, I just finished watching Bailey J's 24-hour uh, live stream. And I know I mentioned that in my last video, but I also filmed this on that same day. So I'm really excited to have a more thorough filming schedule. I hope you guys are enjoying the content I'm putting out. I do think really long and hard about the kinds of things I want to put on this channel and how I'm going to grow. And um, I'm really enjoying it so far. 
Also, currently, as today is going on, I'm going to be photographing some mystery sticker packs for the shop. If you're interested in something like that, please let me know. I enjoy doing mystery packs and stuff, but um, the stickers seem to be the ones that are the most popular in my store. I'm curious, guys. What kinds of things inspire you? Do you like to just pull out a piece of paper or a sketchbook and just doodle for hours and hours until you get something concrete that you can turn into an actual piece? Or are you more casual and you literally just scribble on the sides of your notepad at, in school or at work? Um, I work nine to five every single day at a full-time job and I still doodle in the sidelines. Like even, even when I'm working, I can be doing 10 things at once and one of those is usually doodling or writing down lists and planning things and how I want to, I don't know, create something new. I'm constantly thinking about what I can create next and how I can do that. Currently, as of right now, my husband is playing Destiny with one of our friends. Um, we haven't seen that friend in a while. He moved out of state to work with the um, film dance festival, Sundance. Yes, sorry. Um, I'm not very familiar with all of that, but um, he seems to be enjoying himself and I'm really happy for him. And all of our friends do currently live out of the state, so it's a little hard for us to spend time with them. So nowadays, we just get online and we play video games and we communicate via Discord. That's pretty much all we get to do with our friends. Um, everyone works, you know, we're at that age where everyone's working nine to five or even more. And um, some of them even having part-time jobs on top of their full-time jobs. So it's, it's really hard when you get to this age of not knowing when you can socialize and knowing the appropriate you know what you should expect from your friends and giving each other breaks but also like you know letting them know that you do still care about them and spending time with each other i've went through a lot of my sticker designs and discontinued a lot of them mainly because like i've mentioned in vlogs before that i am trying to get rid of fan art in my etsy shop because it is being so much like they're taking so much of it down um, I understand copyright holders wanting to protect their brands and everything, but uh, I think some of it's a little ridiculous, um, especially with how free, freely you go away from that original design, but I digress. Um, so I'm trying to do all original art on my store, which is very, very hard to sell. Um, it's not that the work isn't good. I get lots of compliments and people buy them in person, but selling things online is a lot harder in my opinion. Um, in person, you can talk to the person and they get to know you and they respect you and they they may already know you in person and so they like know what to expect from your work. And so you can more communicate with that person and they understand you when buying your work. So selling in person, in my opinion, is much easier than selling online because these people have no idea who you are. And that's also another reason why I created this channel. I want to get to know you guys. If you ever buy from me, let me know in the comments below. I love getting to know people who enjoy my work and talking to them and taking suggestions if it's like something that they want to see from me. Um, I take commissions and I also like to try new things. I'm notorious for trying all kinds of new things. Thank you guys so much for listening to me today and watching. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave me a like. See you in the next video guys!